Hey guys and gals, I've got a long anticipated, highly awaited way to download DJI Go 4 or any other iPad app for that far that goes. The anticipation is that we'd like to be able to keep these copies of these IPA files, the installers, so we can roll back or roll forward at, uh, at, at our own determination. And it's kind of difficult to do with the newer iPad or the new i uh, with the new iTunes. So we're going to need to use an older version. And we're also going to use a program called Charles. They're both free. Uh, iTunes, you're going to want to use an older version. Charles, you're going to get the free version, preferably an older version of it. I'll make links available in the description so you can download both without having to hunt for them. I'll put direct links to the versions you need, the versions you see me use here. So, I'm going to do this by launching iTunes first, which I have here. And from your, uh, from iTunes, you're going to do a search for DJI Go in the App Store. Okay. And let's just pull up a search. And they've got it broken down for iPhone and iPad apps. My guess is, is they're probably the same for both. But because I have an iPad, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, DJI Go 4 from under the iPad apps. Now we've got what we're going to call this is the refresh icon, the cover work, cover artwork for this program, and then the download link. When I refer to refreshing, we'll be clicking here and downloading here. You'll have an activity indicator in the top right that shows a download, which will stop and, and delete from time to time. So make sure that you fired up DJI Go first and that Charles was not up and running prior to this. So we're going to launch Charles now. Free version has a bit of a delay built in. And I'll take that any day for a free ride. Version 3.12.2. So we're going to arrange on our desktop in a way that they're not interfering with one, of other, one another. So what we're going to do now, Charles is going to receive data that uh, any of our network connectivity issues. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and you'll see activity here. Charles is now receiving information from iTunes and we should see shortly a uh, download icon right here and what we're going to do is go in and pause that and basically we're going to cancel it by selecting it and hitting delete on our keyboard okay. now if you look over here you'll see that Charles has gathered information based on that internet activity and we've got one over here on the right called by itunes.apples.com now the number may be different it's really insignificant you're just looking for the buy itunes.apples.com all right so I'm, I'm gonna let you follow along with me and i'll take it nice and slow so that you're able to do and match with what i've got going on here so what we've did is downloaded and we've canceled okay now what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to charles and we're going to right click on this and we're going to tell it to enable SSL proxying by right clicking and then enabling SSL proxying alright take it nice and slow for you alright now we're going to go back to iTunes we're going to refresh this screen by clicking this cover art we got more response from Charles. All right, we refreshed it. We're going to go ahead and download it again. More information in Charles coming through. The download icon. We're going to click the download icon. We're going to pause it, select it, and hit delete on our keyboard. All right. So I'll take my time here, let you guys make sure that you're on track. Now, we're going to go over here on the second by itunes.apple.com. We're going to spin it out by expanding it. Make sure that it's completely spun out and expanded. And you'll see an icon here that says buy product. Buy product. Select that. And we're going to export this by right clicking it and choosing export all right right click it and choose export 
Now we're going to save it to our desktop. The file name, you may want to give it uh, something that resembles what you're working with, like DGI Go 4. I'm just going to, for this example, leave it as untitled. And under the file type, pick XML Summary File. XML Summary File. And then save that to your desktop. All right, so now we've got it down here. It's on our desktop. Now what we're going to do is leave everything the way that it is. We're going to, uh, I have Notepad++ installed, which is a nice free text editor. We're going to edit this. Actually, we're just going to look at it and get some information out of it to use. So I'm going to right click it, tell it to open with Notepad++. And I've got it right here. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and what we're doing is we're going down beyond about halfway. We're looking for a series of numbers. This, there's an array here with some integers. These are uh, secret, top secret numbers that somehow relate to the version of DJI Go that you want. My understanding is that the top number is the first version that was released. And subsequent releases coming down and that this bottom number is the most current version available on the App Store, okay? So what we're gonna do, <clears throat> let's go for example, we'll just, we'll pick the second version here, just for giggles. We're gonna select that number and right click, copy it, okay? I'll minimize that, we won't be needing it for a minute, or actually, let me bring it back up. I'll get it over on this screen out of the way. All right, so make sure that you've got that done. I'll, I'll give it a few seconds to let you make sure you're on target. All right, so now what we've done is we've copied that file, that uh, number from our file, and uh, we're gonna go back into Charles and select the same byproduct right here same one and right click it and we're going to choose edit right click it and choose edit and we're going to edit the text will be as t the type as text so here on the bottom text now about the fifth line down, we're looking for that number or a number which is representative of the most current version of the, the file we're downloading. But we're going to replace it with the version we want from that list that we just looked at. So you can select that and backspace it out and then paste it in what you had just copied. Okay. Now, at the, what we're going to do next, once you've completed that step by replacing that number, is down on the bottom here, we're going to click Execute. Okay. Now that we've clicked Execute, back in Charles, we're going to have a new byproduct over here. There's, here's the one we just had. We've got a little pencil where we edited it. And then we've got a new one. Okay. We're going to select that new one, and we're going to right-click it, and choose breakpoints. All right. Take it nice and slow here so that you can be on track with what I'm doing. Okay, now that we've got our breakpoints enabled, we're going to go back to iTunes. We're going to refresh the screen again. All right. And then we're going to download again, except this time the download should fail. We won't be able to see our download icon, so we're going to click download. We're not seeing our download icon that we've seen previously. And you notice something different going over here on Charles. Alright, that's what we want. So let's go back to Charles and choose edit the request. Edit request. 
And what we want to do is we want to edit XML text type here. Okay. Now remember we just replaced this number. We're going to need to do it again. That's that number that we copied from the file that we exported for the version that we're hoping that we can get. So back that out. Paste that number back in that you copied earlier. Nice and easy for you. Make sure you got it done. Okay, now here at the bottom, we're going to click Execute. And when asked again, you'll see a different screen. Click Execute a second time. So I'm going to click Execute. Here's a different screen. And it wants me to click again. I'm going to execute again. Now, this time our download should begin. See our download beginning? This is the version we want to keep. Don't cancel this one. So this is the one we're after finally. And you can click it though and get an idea of it. You can see that the older version was 192 megs. It's already done. Uh, versus some of the newer versions which are approaching 500 megs. So, we've downloaded it. We've got an older version that we've downloaded. Now, how do we get our greedy little fingers on it? We're going to go to My Apps, and there it is. Now, at this point, if you want, you can take and uh, install it directly onto your tablet or phone. But, what I prefer to do, neat little trick, if you select it, right click it say show in Windows Explorer well what do you know there you go we downloaded DJI Go version 4.0.1 now you can take and copy these these are IPA files straight off the App Store they're safe they're unaltered they're, they have no personal information or any settings retained they're the pure source so you can copy these make folders on your hard drive or upload them to Dropbox or however you want to keep them however you store these things okay and then you're good to go you can install them at any time just by putting them in this folder right it's uh it's right here i mean if, if you just open it up you'll be able to see where they're stored and you can just keep them in there if you want or put them elsewhere or use a, a nice little program i have another tutorial on how to install these things and back them up called itools4 i'll put a link for that there below so you can check that out it's much easier than this but this way at least you can get your hands on the source if you don't have the source but one final thing that you must do or next time you use Charles you're going to be in a, a in a big jackpot in a way that uh, Charles is going to act funky on you you must go under one of these byproducts any one of them doesn't matter which one right click it and turn off breakpoints and right click it and disable SSL proxy. If you don't do that, next time you fire up Charles, it's gonna be sitting there in a weird way and all of your steps that you need to do this are gonna be all jacked up and you're gonna be wondering what's going on. So, hope you find this helpful. I'm gonna put, like I said, a link to everything you need in the description below so that you can uh, get started on this. Remember, this works with all kinds of apps. Anything anything that you can uh, put install on your tablet or your phone, you can do the same for here. Just like we did Go. That's just we picked Go because we're uh, drone fanatics. But uh, this is what you need to do. Here's my skin from Decal Girl. Go give her a, a, a check out. She's uh, awesome. I did all my artwork, uploaded it, got me some skins from a Mavic Pro. So, hope you guys find this helpful. And uh, remember, check out the video that I'll put down below for the iTools 4, which makes this whole process much easier once you've got your hand on the IPA files. Alrighty, guys and gals. Talk to you later.